Yeah, the Scudder Oration is the named lecture that occurs each year at the American College of Surgeons Clinical Congress, and uh, it is the trauma lecture. I chose this year to talk about trauma systems, which we have discuss discussed, and specifically inclusive trauma systems. And uh, the map that you're referring to is a map with data from the CDC that showed the distribution of deaths from motor vehicle crashes in the United States, uh, deaths per 100,000, down to the county level. Uh, this is then color-coded and was sort of a red-blue map of the United States that looked not unlike the last presidential elections with red and blue areas. Well, certainly one of the center points of my Scudder oration was that it was uh, a lack of surgeons in rural and underserved parts of this country. We are faced with a, a tremendous shortage of physicians in this country. It's been estimated we'll be short 200,000 doctors in the United States by the year 2020. The emphasis has been on primary care, but we're also going to be short specialists. And in fact, it's not all an absolute shortage, but there's also a malnutrition problem. What I showed in the Scudder Oration <clears throat> was another map of the distribution of surgeons in the United States superimposed on the death rate per 100,000 from motor vehicle crashes. And what that showed literally, graphically, was where you don't have surgeons, your chance of dying on a, from a motor vehicle crash injury is significantly greater than where you have access to surgical care. So that's the whole concept of an inclusive trauma system is to be sure that patients do get to the right place in the right time. And if that happens to be a rural area where there are not surgeons, you have to have a system in place to ensure that that uh, patient gets to a level of care if they need a surgeon that they have one. The reason I say inclusive is because it may be perfectly appropriate that a patient is cared for in a community hospital uh, by the doctor or in some cases not even doctors in those small rural hospitals. They're the real heroes of trauma care in this country and they're the ones that are out there alone but we have to connect them with the tertiary centers so that patients injured in those areas have access to their tertiary resources.